a sample of 60 steel rods was measured and the mean length is X bar is recorded. If the population variance is 0 0.460, okay, but the population variance is given. Find the range of values of X bar. Oh, actually, we don't know X bar. We're supposed to calculate for the range of values of X bar to conclude at 1% level of significance that the machine is producing steel rods that are more than 50 cm. Okay, I don't know whether you can really sense the change in this question because in this question, right, you don't go through the hypothesis test and derive at a conclusion. You know, the conclusion is already told to me that there is sufficient evidence that the, the steel rods, the length of the steel rods, right, are more than 50 cm. Okay, so the scenario is this. H0 is such that mu is equal to 50. According to that last statement, right, we have found sufficient evidence that it is bigger than 50. So this gives me, uh, this gives me the hint that the alternative hypothesis is bigger than 50. The sample size is given to me is this. This is actually somehow unknown. Okay, so, and the question is asking me about this. It has never happened before previously. The question asked me to find the range of values of x bar. And let, let me just write down the rest of the information first. This is given to me, this is given to me as 0 0.460 square, which means that my test statistics is uh, n, which is equal to 60. This is large, which means that since this is happening, so I can say x bar as one that follows a normal distribution of 50. This is 0 0.460 square over n by central limit theorem as an approximation. Okay, but the thing is this question already gave me the conclusion. This question says that okay, so there's sufficient evidence at 1% level of significance that mu is bigger than 50, which means if I were to draw my diagram based on the test statistics, uh, here, this diagram is for x bar, this is going to be 50. We are looking at the right tail test and the question is talking about a 1% level of significance. So the area here is 0 0.01, so which means that this k, right, or x bar is going to be found here. Okay, k is going to be within the critical region so that there is sufficient evidence, you know, that there's a there's an increase. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to try to find out what is this number here, which is not difficult because I can just simply press inverse norm. And the area that I'm going to press will be 0 0.01. Mu is going to be equal to 50. Sigma is going to be square root of 0 0.460 square over 60. Tail is going to be the right tail. I press this, it will give me this number. This number is 50.138. So if there were to be sufficient evidence that mu is bigger than 50, that means k must be more than 50.138. This gives me an idea. I mean, k is x bar. So I just rewrite this, okay, but to 3 to three significant figures, 